have made it to Roma in Italy. We are gonna be here for two days and then we're going to some other destinations in Italy. It is 1.30 p.m. We were actually able to check into our Airbnb um, earlier today, which was really nice. So I'm not gonna make a separate video about what it's like to travel to Italy during this COVID pandemic. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what our experience was like coming from New York City all the way here. So JFK was extremely packed. That's where we flew out of. It was really disorganized. We tried to check in online prior to getting to the airport, but we couldn't. And when we got there, the kiosks were not allowed to be used either. So we had to stand in this, stand in this massive line just to get our boarding passes. Um, but eventually we got moved to a shorter line. So yeah, and there were a lot of people at the airport. Um, a lot of people were traveling to different parts of Europe, just like how we are. Uh, when you get your boarding pass, they are going to check your vaccine card to make sure that you are vaccinated. And then once you get to your gate, they're also going to take your temperature as well. Um, and then after they take your temperature, they have this stamp that they put on your boarding pass for you to be able to get on the plane. Everybody on the plane was still required to wear masks and me and Andrew, who I'm here with um, on this trip, we both wiped down all of our like seats and screens just to make sure that we stay super um, clean and hygienic on this trip. We still wanna be very, very cautious even if we are vaccinated. Um, and then from the airport, it was really easy to find tickets to take the train. So we took the train from the airport to um, Roma Trastevere, which is the main area that we're staying. From there, we took another tram that was 1.5 euro, and we just took a few stops of that, and we just checked into our Airbnb. And we also found out when we got here that this might be a blessing in disguise, but this is the month that Italians all go on summer holiday, and this is a specific week that everyone's gone, so our Airbnb host told us that it may be pretty empty here in Rome which is good and bad. I personally like the atmosphere of having a lot of people around, but then that also equates to really crowded restaurants, long waits, and a higher risk of COVID, which is still very much around. Anyways, still looking forward to it, and I wanted to go ahead and show a little tour of the Airbnb, even though it's just a room, but let me show it. All right, so we walk in and here's the desk. That is actually a mini fridge. Houses two water bottles right now. Um, yeah, and then here is a room. I mean, not a room. Here's a bed. It's like a full size, I think. And then here are some cabinets. There's some extra towels in there. Um, and then here's our bathroom. We have a master bedroom, basically. Toilet, shower, a little window there. Um, and yeah, that's it. Very cute little Airbnb. <laughs> So before we came to Rome, we researched that the water here is safe to drink if it's coming from a public fountain. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my water bottle. If you like to pack light, this is what I recommend. 
Yeah. It's actually really good. good water. And it's really cold. Cold, yeah. Wow. Oh my god, this feels so good. First one in Italy. Really good and smooth, and there's also like chocolate on top as well. Um, I know that in Italy, people eat really small breakfast and usually something sweet. So that's what we wanted to go with just to uh, blend in with the culture a little bit. See?
got my spaghetti a la carbonara. This looks so good. You have to get this here, apparently. And he got something that looks very similar, but his is cacio e pepe. Well, mine has so much egg on it. It's like a lot of egg yolk. Whoa. It's like so dainty that it's almost hard. It has so much egg yolk. Look at how yellow it is. Mm. We are having an espresso, my first espresso in Italy. What's the what's the spoon? Nope. You don't like it at all? Do you think it's smooth though? Yeah, it's smooth. They also give you water, I realize, on the side to kind of like wash your mouth. Which is really helpful. Our first espresso. There they are. The men that just drink espresso standing up and look. I think they're done. Water, refresh the palate. There you go. He's done. did all those things today we went back to our airbnb and we just came out after showering and refreshing ourselves i'm wearing the same outfit because i didn't pack that many outfits but anyways right now we are walking around our neighborhood Trastevere, and we are gonna go to get some aperitivo if you don't know what that is it's almost like an italian happy hour basically it's like pre-dinner drinks and a lot of times people will have wine beer something light and maybe some snacks um, like meat and cheese or olives stuff like that it's usually done between like 7 to 9 p.m and then dinner comes <laughs> after that so we're gonna eat like the italians today and have aperitivo and then dinner
Hello everyone. I am currently on the train. We just departed from Rome and we're going to our next destination, which is Venice. Look, they just gave us this. It's like a, a hygiene kit. It has water and um, a mask and whatnot. To make sure that you are safe and clean and virus free on the train.